Let's hear it for Lori McDermott, everybody. Come on! I am so excited. I'm out. I have three kids. I am out. Look at me. I'm out. I've already peed twice by myself. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but the kid thing is so, everyone's like, oh, it's so lovely, it's so wonderful. Having kids is hard, it's hard. Like the crying and the screaming and the yelling. And that's usually just me. <laughs> you guys seem really nice. Most people think just because I've chosen to stay home with my kids instead of work a day job, suddenly I'm uninteresting, unintelligent, and a total bore. Yeah, because I was like that before. <laughs> like, you don't work? Hey, you know, up yours. I work. I may not put on a dress or bathe every day. <laughs> I work. I'm a chef. I'm a gardener. I'm a booger wiper. I'm an accountant. A therapist. A part-time whore. <laughs> A good one. <laughs> oh yeah. I take care of my house. I don't call myself a stay-at-home mom. That's not even like a title. That's like a luxury. Stay-at-home mom, okay. Yeah, no. I call myself the CEO of the house. <laughs> yeah, you like that? That is a title. My husband hates it. You can't be CEO, I'm CEO. I make the money. Yeah, who pays the bills? Who saves us money? Who gives you $40 a week allowance? <laughs> I'm important. Go to the grocery store, like take a 10 pound bag of potatoes. How do you know there's 10 pounds in there? Yeah, do any of you ever reweigh those bags? No, I do. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll reweigh them all. Cause you'll find nine pounds, eight pound bags. <gasps> You're paying for 10. I'll go find that store manager, hi. I'm the CEO of my house. I don't know if you know this or not, but there's an orgy going on in your store because a lot of people are getting fucked. <laughs> then my husband gets all embarrassed carrying out a free bag of potatoes. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. My husband came home with a parking ticket. I looked at the ticket. It wasn't even for his car. Yes, yeah, someone put their parking ticket on my husband's car. <laughs> Assuming he would just pay it. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. So smart, I do that now. <laughs> yeah, you're dumb enough not to check. You should pay my parking ticket. It's called a stupid fee. But you guys, I am a really good mother, okay? I may not do a lot of things right, but I'm proud of the fact that I stay home with my kids and anything and everything they've ever learned, it's because they've heard it from me. And then I was in the car, passenger seat, my husband was driving, and out of nowhere, my son in the back seat shouted out, slow down, bitch! <laughs> Do we write that in the baby book or no? <laughs> He's like, you got a problem. You've got to stop swearing. You should start spelling. Ever try that? Something horrible happens. Motherfu- M-O-T-H-E-R-F-U. It doesn't happen. But I do spell sometimes. You know, like when I left tonight. Oh, honey, there's some P-O-P-S-I-C-L-E-S -S in the freezer. Yeah, he sits there like you guys. P O P. <laughs> What? So I trick him. Tonight upstairs in bed, there'll be some P-U-S-S-Y. <laughs> yeah, he still sits there like this guy. P-U. <laughs> what? My seven-year-old will get it. Dad, she said cat. <laughs> That's all right. My little nephew came to spend the weekend with us. Yeah? And uh, he went home, fell off his tricycle, stood up and yelled, O-S-H-I-T! His parents were so mad, they called me, ah. I'm like, oh my God, he's three and he can spell. <laughs> How about a thank you? <laughs> so unappreciative. One of my girlfriends like, has no thank you in her body. Her husband's been cheating on her. She had no idea. He's pulling another all-nighter at the office. Yeah, he works at KFC. <laughs> 
It's only a matter of time before your husband will stray. Yeah, I didn't marry Scooby-Doo. And I own a leash. <laughs> but I know, because when we got married, you know, we took that oath. Till death do you part. Till death. Not till you find someone cuter -eth. <laughs> Not till you're horny and drunk in another country -eth. No, till death. Now, if my husband chooses to break that oath and cheat, it'll be his fault we have to part, and therefore, he should die. <laughs> you cheat, you die. Then you're off the planet, and I'll never have to worry about you banging some hot chick while I'm home alone, drunk, and fat. <laughs> Life would be so easy. I'm oh, sorry, you're getting divorced. Oh no, he cheated. I killed him last Friday. <laughs> Life is good. Even the Catholic Church agrees with me. They do. Are you sorry you chopped your husband's head off with an ax and splattered his blood on the walls and the words die, asshole, die? <laughs> Are you sorry, my child? Thank goodness you didn't divorce him. That's a sin. <laughs> I'm happily married. Strange, very happily married. And my husband is always looking for things to make our relationship better. Like he reads my glamour magazine, getting ideas. Of course, I have to circle the articles and leave them next to the toilet. Yeah. But he reads them. Last month's issue had this article, How to Wake Up Your Spouse with Oral Sex. Oh my God, you guys, I was so excited till I woke up gagging. We have a lot of fun. I'm Laura McDermott, you guys. Thanks so much.